So let's just try a quick question just using this. So let's say we have a pulse of radiation, kind of like what the, the first thing we saw when we introduced radiation, where we had this slab of field, uh, electric field pointing upward, magnetic field pointing out towards us. And let's say we've confined it to just a box or a volume that's propagating to the right at the speed of light. And the height of the box is 2 meters, the width of the box is 0.8 meters, and the depth here is 0.5 meters. And everywhere in there we have a uniform electric field pointing upward of 720 volts per meter and some magnetic field, which you may or may not need to know. So we have the volume, the dimensions of the box. What's the, how much energy is stored? What's the total energy stored in the electromagnetic fields inside that box? So you can work that out. So what do we got? Okay, number of different responses. Okay, so what are we given? We're given the magnitude of the field, right, which is 720 volts per meter, okay? And that's all we need because this is radiation. We, we could calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field if we wanted to, but just to get the energy density, all we need is the, uh, the square of the radiative field. And I hope I did the, I hope the answer's up there. Let's find out. The electric field is 720 volts per meter. Okay, what's epsilon zero? 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. Okay. So if I say 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 times 720 volts per meter squared, what's that number? What's that give me? Someone work it out. 4.58 times 10 to the minus 6. And what is this? What are the units? Are they, is this energy? This is energy densities. So this is joules per joules per meter cube. Yeah, joules per cubic meter. Okay. So to get the total energy, what do I have to do? Multiply by the volume. Okay. And the volume, so the energy is going to be 4.58 times 10 to the minus 6 joules per meter cubed. And what's the dimension of the thing? It's uh, 2 by 0.8 by 0.5. 2 meters by 0.8 by 0.5. So, well, 0.5 times 2 is going to give you 1. So the whole thing is going to be 0.8 meters cubed, right? And so this times 0.8 gives you what? 3.67 times 10 to the minus 6, which is up there, I hope. Yeah, answer number 3. Okay, so 3 is correct. So this is energy density, not energy. Yes, question. By no, because this um, is radiation, right? Okay, so we're looking at the total energy stored in the electric and the magnetic fields. Okay, so what we worked out here was you have one half epsilon zero e, e squared for the electric field, and you have one over two mu naught b squared for the magnetic field. Okay, but because it's radiation, I'm substituting in the relationship I know has to be true for electromagnetic radiation, namely that B is equal to E over C. And then when you plug that in, you get one half epsilon naught E squared plus another one half epsilon naught E squared, which gives you epsilon naught E squared. Okay, makes sense. So, so watch watch the question. It's not just the electric field, but the total energy stored in both the electric and magnetic fields. Okay. Questions here? Just manipulation of a formula, really, nothing more than that. The, the key point here is that the energy is stored in the fields and that it's proportional to the magnitude of the field squared. Okay.